On this week's episode, we're using water pipe. So I just went down to my local hardware store and I picked up these water pipes. Well, in fact, they're irrigation pipes. I picked up some 13 millimeter ones, a 19 millimeter one, this thick wall 25 millimeter one, and I also got a handful of these six mil ones. Now my plan for this project is to take these ugly black pipes and turn them into something beautiful. But in order to do that, I'm gonna have to add some resin. Now before we start adding any resin, the first thing I need to do is cut these pipes into four inch pieces. Now that all my pieces are deburred, I can glue them down to this block of wood. Well now that all my pipes are glued down, it's time to mix up some coloured resin. Now time to start filling. While I was filling the smaller pipes, I realised I was trapping a lot of air, so I'd have to put these in the vacuum chamber. I was trying not to build too much vacuum, otherwise all the resin would just come straight out. Well, 
Well that's the last two finished. They were definitely a bigger pain than I anticipated, but we got there in the end. So now I'm going to leave them to cure overnight and we'll check on them tomorrow. Well it's now the next day and our resin's all cured. But as you can see in these smaller pipes, we still had some air trapped in there. But after checking the levels with this toothpick, they're not that low. Now it did make these pipes longer than they needed to be, so they'll still be okay. Now the next thing we need to do is take all these pipes off and cut them in half. I was pretty surprised none of the hot glue leaked. See all the resin here? That's where it spilled over when it was in the vac chamber. Now that I've got all the pieces cleaned up, I can start gluing them to this larger pipe. And I'm going to do that with some 5 minute epoxy. Well now that all the pieces are stuck down, it's time to put this into the larger container and start mixing some resin. To colour the resin, I'll be adding some white alcohol ink. I'm going to cure this in the pressure pot, but I won't be running pot cam for this one, since you'll just be looking at a white screen.
well that's looking pretty good. I can't wait to expose all these colors on the lathe. So the next thing I need to do is pop it out of this container and glue it to a waste block. Well that was easy. So now that I've made the hole wider, it's time to glue on an end cap, and for that, I'll be using a piece of Australian Melee Burl. I also gave the inside a quick spray of clear. Before I start working on the base, I'm going to give it a sand and a polish. Now that my top's all finished, I'm going to start work on the base, and for that, I'm using a matching piece of burl.
Well, it's now time for the final step, adding the lights. Well, as you just saw by that last clip, I didn't glue the base down. I made it a tight press fit, that way I could easily pull it apart in case I need to replace the LEDs. And the LEDs that I'm using, I can control with my phone. That way it makes it really easy to change the colours. Now the colour changes have a really cool effect on the dots. I think you guys will like it. Now let's check it out. 